Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Sunday, July 23rd, 2023, and we are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these MLB videos every single day, along with the NFL and college football, and that's back on. I cannot wait for it to be back. We had big winning years in both of those sports last year. We're also coming off big one years, the NBA, college basketball, and NHL. We're going after our first 10,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, you've been fading me the last few days. You've been making a lot of money. Um, we went one and four yesterday. Uh, Mets money line, that was a winner. We had them open still because there was a we bet them on Friday. Their game might delay till Saturday. We sold them a minus 102. That was a winner. Uh, with the Phillies money line, um, one nothing. I mean, the, I said what Zach Wheeler was going to do. He did it. Um, Phillies did not do anything offensively. It's a tough loss there. Um, over eight and a half. I mean, if, God, if if, if the Mar I forgot who was batting for the Marlins. Marlins hit a ball in the air in the outfield. We get one home before the three. And then if the same thing happens for the Rockies, we get to four to four. And then right there, we get the win, but tough loss there. Uh, Astros didn't even watch it. I'm not going to lie. And same with the parlay. I didn't even watch it. Uh, it was a tough loss overall yesterday. Uh, one and four. We're down to 5.03 units. We're up 5.03 units, excuse me, for the year. Um, and listen, I don't really want to say those numbers, but we got to be transparent with it. Um, and listen, um, this has been rushing the last few days, not going to lie. And I built a great life for myself through the betting business and doing all this stuff and like, you know, gambling myself. But one thing I've learned, though, and I've learned this in life, I've learned this in betting, is that your your most frustrating stretches typically precede your best stretches, and I feel a best stretch coming on right now. Uh, we have two picks today in the MLB. I might be adding more. If I do, it'll be on my Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is ZDM underscore bets. Members love to text to you. Become a member at ZDMbets.com slash picks. Become a member now. Um, especially if you've been fading me. If you're fading me, it makes it help, help support the channel, too, because I've been hooking you all up. Um, but we're going to go with two picks today. That's it for now. We might be adding a little bit more, like I said, but... Uh, check my Twitter for that. So two picks today. First off, Braves minus 1.5, minus 110 odds versus the Brewers. Uh, to me, Elder is way better than Tehran. Uh, Elder 7-2, like a 2-something ERA. Um, Tehran's fine. Like, he's not good. He's not great. He's not bad either. He's just, like, perfectly average pitcher. While the Braves' offense is incredible, top three in almost every single statistical category, top four in every single statistical category. Um, and the Brewers are not that when it comes to their offense. They've, they're very home run centric. They don't get guys home unless they're hitting home runs. Um, plus, the Braves' bullpen is fantastic. The Brewers' bullpen is good, too. But the Braves have the better starting pitching and the better offense here. It's, if they win this one, they'll take two out of three, and they'll bounce back after a tough couple series. I like the Braves here to win this game by two um, in the Brewers. Plus, they get nine full half innings, uh, which, in the, in which, which in a situation like this where you, where you have the minus 1.5, it's a big deal uh, to cover. And next, we have the Orioles' money line at plus 126 versus the Rays. Um, I think Wells is a ton, a ton better than Bradley. Um, I mean, that, that, well, first off, he's two he's two runs better on the ERA side of things, which is a big deal. Um, the Orioles' bullpen has been very good this whole year. Uh, they're top seven in the league uh, in ERA for their bullpen. On top of that, their offense has been a lot more consistent as of late uh, than the Rays have. Um, the Orioles, though, to me, just the biggest thing about them is that they feel like the Nationals from 2010 to me. Um, the Nationals were a team that wasn't supposed to win their division. They did. Um, I think the Orioles are going to do that this year. Um, I'm going to take the Orioles here over the Rays. Plus, the Rays just seem flaky. Something's off about their team. Like, they're not hitting the ball well. Their bullpen is suspect. Um, their starting pitching other than McClanahan has been very, very suspect as of late. And the Orioles are the exact opposite. So I like the Orioles here. You can get them at plus money. I'm plus 126. I'm going to roll with them here. Now, like I said, I'm going to be adding some more picks here and there. Yeah, to check my Twitter. My Twitter is EDM underscore bets. Everything and members, you'll get those texts to you. Um, so guys, let's go lock in the Braves. Let's lock in the Orioles. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money, and we'll see you all tomorrow.